Can you dig it? By Ray Lankford. Did you know there are all kinds of creatures living right underneath you? It's true. You just have to dig a little to see them. Creature. A creature is something that's alive. It's a living thing. Dirt is full of living things. There are wiggly earthworms and tiny insects such as ants. There are also larger animals living underground, such as groundhogs. They live there because that is their habitat. Habitat. A habitat means a place where things live. Other creatures have habitats above ground. You might observe squirrels collecting nuts or birds making nests in trees. You might even spot bees and butterflies flying around flowers. Creature. A creature is something that's alive. It's a living thing. Habitat. A habitat means a place where things live. Observe. When you observe something, it means you watch it closely or see it happen. All the creatures and plants you see in these habitats are part of an ecosystem. In an ecosystem, all the creatures and plants living there depend on each other. Creature, a creature is something that's alive. It's a living thing. Habitat, a habitat means a place where things live. Ecosystem, ecosystem is short for ecological system. It means all the living things and non-living things that are found in a particular area. In this story, the ecosystem is the backyard and the neighborhood. Depend. When you depend on something, that means you need help from it. Plants depend on sun, water, and soil to help them grow. For example, plants drop their leaves and fruit on the ground. As those decay, it gives the earthworms something to eat. Decay. When something decays, it means it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces until it's gone. When a flower decays, it dries up and shrinks until it breaks down into little pieces and becomes part of the soil. The earthworms and insects fertilize the soil, which helps the plants grow. Who knew that worms could be so useful? Fertilize. When you fertilize plants, it means you add things to the dirt to help plants grow stronger. But earthworms aren't the only ones who fertilize things. You can fertilize your garden by making a compost pile. Fertilize. When you fertilize plants, it means you add things to the dirt to help plants grow stronger. Compost. When you compost, you put food or yard scraps in a pile and let them break down. When you put compost on your plants, it makes the soil better and gives the plants something to eat. the plants grow vegetables and fruit that you get to eat. There are ecosystems everywhere. What kinds of creatures can you identify in an ecosystem near you?
Creature. A creature is something that's alive. It's a living thing. Identify. When you identify something, it means you know what it is and can name it. You might be able to identify different bugs in your neighborhood, like bees and ants. Ecosystem. Ecosystem is short for ecological system. It means all the living things and non-living things that are found in a particular area. In this story, the ecosystem is the backyard and the neighborhood. Word bones. <laughs> depend. When you depend on something, that means you need help from it. <laughs> creature. A creature is something that's alive. It's a living thing. <laughs> identify. When you identify something, it means you know what it is and can name. Compost. When you compost, you put food or yard scraps in a pile and let them break down. <laughs> habitat. A habitat means a place where things live. <laughs> observe. When you observe something, it means you watch it closely or see it happen. Ecosystem. Ecosystem is short for ecological system. It means all the living things and non-living things that are found in a particular area. <laughs> fertilize. When you fertilize plants, it means you add things to the dirt to help plants grow stronger. <laughs> Decay. When something decays, it means it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces until it's gone. <laughs> Ecosystem. Ecosystem is short for ecological system. It means all the living things and non-living things that are found in a particular area. Quizmo. When you're exploring an ecosystem, it's important to watch your environment closely. What's another word for this? Touch, observe, identify. You got it! When you observe something, it means you watch it closely or see it happen. The place where a plant or animal lives is its compost, creature, habitat. You got it. A habitat means a place where things live. What's one ingredient you can use to make compost? Fruit scraps, fertilizer, seeds. <laughs> you got it. When you compost, you put food or yard scraps in a pile and let them break down. When you put compost on your plants, it makes the soil better and gives the plants something to eat. When a flower dries up, shrinks, and breaks down into little pieces, that means it's in the process of repurposing, decaying, composting. That's right. When something decays, it means it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces until it's gone. When a flower decays, it dries up and shrinks until it breaks down into little pieces and becomes part of the soil. All the living and non-living things that are found in the same place are part of its ecosystem, creature, waste. <laughs> That's right. Ecosystem is short for ecological system. It means all the living things and non-living things that are found in a particular area. What can you add to the dirt to help plants grow stronger? Fertilizer, mud, seeds. That's right. When you fertilize plants, it means you add things to the dirt to help plants grow stronger. What do the plants depend on in order to provide them with fertilized soil? Birds, butterfly, worms. 
You got it. When you depend on something, that means you need help from it. Plants depend on sun, water, and soil to help them grow. Which of these is a creature? Tree, worm, flowers. You got it. A creature is something that's alive. It's a living thing. When you know what something is and can name it, it means that you can check it, identify it, estimate it. That's right. When you identify something, it means you know what it is and can name it.